Mark Rogers, TV Talk and Ohio State football. We bring in Tony Gerdeman from theozone.net. Please join him there for the very best in Ohio State football coverage. Uh, Tony, I believe the last time we had you on was just uh, after the Wisconsin game for the Big Ten Championship prior to the Cotton Bowl. And so before we talk about current news, just your thoughts about uh, the performance in the Cotton Bowl. I guess it can be looked at in two separate ways. It's difficult to get around that Ohio State's offensive and defensive lines dominated in the trenches. I guess uh, taking the negative view would be, okay, they capitalized on some some um, USC turnovers, sat on a 17-0 lead, did little offensively. The other thought could be they didn't need to do much, and they took advantage and dominated a top-10 team. I think that's it. You know, um, Urban Meyer was really wanted this win. And when they had that, you know, 17 point lead, he didn't really want to do anything to risk that. So they pretty much shut it down in the second half because they knew the USC offense wasn't going to do anything, you know, to that defense, to the Ohio State defense. And basically he wanted to end this season as positively as he could with wins because you don't make the playoffs, but you beat Michigan, you win the Big Ten title. And he really wanted this bowl win for the seniors. Because that's one of the things, uh, one of the criticisms of JT Barrett was that he wasn't getting the team to hoist any trophies. So this was a big thing for Meyer to let these guys end on a good note because he knows a lot of people won't look at it as positively as maybe they should. And with the win over USC and the Cotton Bowl, a significant team, a significant bowl, uh, it allowed them to cap it. Well, which will be remembered down the line, you know, at the at the time, twenty four seven, the offense wasn't couldn't run the ball. You know, they didn't look all that great, but five years from now, it's a win in the Cotton Bowl over USC, and you don't really think about how they looked in the second half. And it's a number five final ranking, which uh, prior to the college football playoff would have been viewed differently by different uh, people depending on your viewpoint. There's almost a set viewpoint uh, these days. If you look at the number five position after the season, it signifies that you just missed the playoff and the magic number is four. Uh, it, it's still a remarkable achievement, especially when you consider uh, the Big Ten championship in hand in what is possibly the toughest conference in college football. I'm going to rank them soon when I run the metrics of the games. Uh, it was brought to my attention again in watching some of the, um, some of the tributes to Keith Jackson and how many times he referred to and, and watching some of the Ohio State Michigan opens and watching just uh, in general college football uh, mm -hmm. clips from Keith Jackson where he mentioned conference championship, conference championship, Big yeah. Ten championship, and the significance there. And I, I think it's just very unfortunate, Tony, that that's been lost uh, for a lot of people. I, I completely agree. And you, you think to um, the 2016 season, the Buckeyes made the playoffs. They lost 31 nothing in that first round. Which season would fans rather have? You know, the one where they make the playoffs or this past year where they win the Big Ten, they also beat Michigan, and they win their bowl game. I mean, there's there's really no comparison in terms of the high, you know, or what you've reached or um, maybe the enjoyment that fans got out of the season. But because they weren't in the playoffs, they maybe didn't appreciate the rest of it as, as much as they should have I completely agree about the big 10 championship or conference champions championships as a whole. And urban Meyer will tell you, that's what they set out to do at the start of the season. You want to win the big 10 because that opens up other things to you this time around. It didn't open up what they thought it would, you know, that loss to Iowa is never going to go away. And, and um, the committee, you know, it, it stuck out like a very sore thumb. But winning that Big Ten title is something that it's it's forever, and it used to mean I don't know if it used to mean more. It should still mean the same, uh, and it means the same to the coaches who have been around and fought for him for thirty years. You know, it means a lot to Urban Meyer. I mean, he remembers back in the eighties at Ohio State as a grad assistant, and he knows what it's like to to win the SEC. And um, you know, you only it's not easy to win a conference. And so when you accomplish it, you have to appreciate it as a program, as a team, and, and the fans need to as well, I think.